Hello everyone, and welcome to Darkwood Alpha 6 this time. Um, this released a few days ago now, actually, and I did actually play through it and make a video earlier, but I accidentally skipped the prologue, which I very much wanted to capture a video of in case there's anything new in it that I've missed. I will also go through the options real quick, because once, I think it's a useful thing to show people what, what the options available are. And two, they actually have a couple of new options, like dynamic resolution here. Uh, you can set it. it. I don't think I need it. I'm not sure entirely sure what it is, but this is where you can find it. Um, audio controls the same as always, and controls. Now we have, I, I think this has been in there for a while, but I haven't personally used it for anything, because it just sounds confusing as hell. And hotbar scrolling is new, where you can use your mouse wheel to... Uh, We'll go over the hotbar, which if you've never seen anything about Darkwood, is uh, you'll become very familiar with it. It's kind of an integral part of the experience. I use I have it turned on, but I don't actually use it very much because I don't think it's implemented all that well right now. And so, without further delay, uh, oh yeah, also now they have this, uh, your saves from the previous profile aren't just automatically obliterated, you actually keep them and they show you this nice message so that you can uh, either obliterate it yourself over here or you can get uh, these both open a web browser uh, you can look at downgrade instructions and find the version that, that you need for now though I'm gonna keep this thing around um, I'm gonna go ahead and obliterate this guy because I'm not gonna play that again what happened last time with the last video that's not going up is I hit skip prologue because I thought this meant play prologue which is not what I want and I don't really want permadeath because I, uh, I'm not in that donut. Do not want. You are playing an alpha version of a very challenging and unforgiving game. The introduction is not fully implemented and a lot of stuff is unbalanced. Some mechanics may be completely unexplained and you might die a lot learning the ropes. You may also experience bugs ranging from minor annoyances to crashes and save game corruption. If you prefer a smoother learning curve and playing experience, please wait for the final version. Generating world. This might take a few minutes. I'm not sure why we, uh, Frame rate seems to have dropped, but it never takes minutes. It usually takes, yeah, it's it's already done. So no worries, we aren't gonna sit here for minutes waiting for it. Even when I'm asleep, I can't stop seeing their faces. Looking at me with trust, like I could heal them, save them from the spreading plague. Looks like he's doing well. Look, I could stop the process which destroys their land, rots their bodies and minds. Worms! Yeah. And feet. There is no way out of here. I am stuck with them. Eh. With their unending calling, pleading cries, and muttered prayers. Pills, because of course I have pills. I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. Alcohol distiller. A homemade device for making moonshine. Potatoes. The only thing that grows on this land and is edible. I still have some left. Potatoes, huh? Apparently all the other stuff that grows is inedible. Barricaded window. Dismantling this now would be suicide. Right. Hello. Cages. My old Senate S camera. Can I equip that? There we go. 12.685. I'm not sure this is a picture of anything in particular. It just looks like random noise or fire. It's creepy. Your noises from over here though. Cages. This time they're empty. Let's see. Well, they're not really empty apparently. They have rags. Same thing. See, the way he says that though makes it seem like, you know, he's not really in control of whether or not they're empty. It's like, oh, goody, today they're empty. Hmm. I would rather not open it. I spent too much
much time to lock him in there. Okay. Cool. Nothing in the shoes. My bad, exam. I've only just woken up. For some reason we think magic circles around our bed is a good idea. Bodes well. It's a lot of stuff. Key to the front door, that sounds useful. Notes examine. I know these ones by heart, I don't need to read them now, it's the same thing as before. Radio Unitra examine. There's been radio silence for years, although sometimes I can hear voices among the noise. Looks like he's been trying a lot of frequencies over time, just seeing what happens. I wonder if I'll hear voices while I'm walking around. Must not enter this room right now. Lockpick it. I don't have any lockpicks. Uh, barricade. Yeah, let's not do that. That would be silly. <sighs> All right. Oh, potatoes. Presumably, trapped or examined. I used to store some stuff in here, but it jammed a long time ago. Of course, we don't have lockpicks. So okay. Well, we've, uh, let's turn that on. Light is good. I think I left my key in the wardrobe. This key. Alright. Wooden doll, examine. A large humanoid doll with a cut-out face. That. Uh, yep, that's normal. Poor dog. My 125p. It was once a luxury, now it's a heap of useless trash. Some time ago, every load he reading here was devoured by the woods. So I were trapped, I suppose. People's Tribune of the Polish People's Republic. So we are in Poland. I can't read Polish. I don't know what this says. Resident of the USA and something USSR, probably. Yeah. And medical bag. There's nothing of worth left in here. Because, you know, we don't need medicine in a situation like this. My dog, I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. <sighs> Is that? Is that? The fly is like eating him alive. Little black dots. That's weird. Press space to jump over obstacles like fences or windows. Is there anything else back here? Not really. Is that blood? No, it's just dirt. Blood is not the same thing as dirt, I have learned. World is a mysterious place. Can I actually run around here? Like, there's like a tree in the way. I wonder if I can... Hold on. I have the camera equipped, but it doesn't seem to actually... I don't know how to do that. It doesn't seem to do anything. Axe! Inventory. Axe. So I switched that with my mouse wheel, which was effective. The, the main problem with the mouse wheel is that, like, I'm gonna push one click down, nothing. Two clicks down, takes like like based on the speed and just clicks aren't good enough. I don't know why. It's a lot of wood. The weapon selected in your hotbar. Hold right mouse button to take aim and press live mouse left mouse button while aiming to attack. Let's select that thing. That's our hotbar over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It does not do that. That's. I'm trying to press the one back, which I guess we don't know how to do yet. Oh. That's different. Bear trap. I must be careful. The woods are full of them. Disarm. Okay. Dead cow. Search. Bone. Value 10. I haven't... This is new to me, but I don't think I've done the uh, tutorial in a few versions. So maybe that's been in there for a while. I like they finally named this thing as a dead cow, though. I was never totally sure... And I kind of like 
the tutorial on like, hey, bear traps, you can disarm them. But I don't know if it's strictly necessary, because one of the first things you do in this stuff shift to run. That's always great when the game is like, here's how you run! And I'm like, uh, uh, should I do that? There's no escape from these woods. Only the rats can squeeze themselves between the trees. Yep. Uh. I don't trust anything. Could all have changed. Corpse search. To immediately transfer item between inventories, hold left control to transfer a single item. Or left there, no. Okay, that's bad. I just tried the thing it told me to do, and it was like, oh, I guess you know what you're doing, and just, yeah, it should, it should know, the message should know that control and shift are the things it's talking about, and only when I pressed both of them. These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. Press tab to access your inventory and the crafting menu. Crafting. Torch. I have more than enough of every kind of supply. But of course, I immediately forget to put it in a useful place. Alright. It's dark. It's purple. Not sure why it's purple. Go away, weird noises. Nobody wants you. Mm. Hmm. Weird circly shaped things, reminiscent of magic circles, but also... Oh goody. That is a tree. Kind of. Corpse examine. In a few days, it will be completely absorbed. So the trees are absorbing the bodies? Or something? And we have this! Which is one of those magic circles, clearly same triangle, like the thing he sleeps in is the same thing, and someone has taken half a man and half a moose and laid them down together. There's a bunch of bugs too, which is great. I'm sure that means nothing. Their entrails are like, melding. Take a picture of it? No. Alright, worth a shot. Wardrobe, rags... Oh. So there's some clothes. Hmm, I wonder if it's those clothes. These clothes? No. Or these clothes. Yes! Rags from clothes. That makes sense. Can't really object to the logic in that. Oop. Oh. That's probably a bug. How do I get over there? I miss it. Is it out here? It's over here. Ah. So that doesn't work. Here we go. Right, we need space to mount over things. It's a chair. It's just a hut with a chair, bread, and rags that we don't need. Clearly there's like a tree that just went through a house. Right? Like, there's this... wood? Maybe? Kinda looks like wood. It's just everywhere. There was a house here. Dog with man. Same magic circle thing, but no triangle. Or maybe it's just faded. There's a path that doesn't seem... that's just missed stuff in that direction. Okay. Bug. I think this one is still alive. Unconscious man. He doesn't look unconscious. Search. If there is an exit out of these woods, this must be the key to it. Value 1500. No room in inventory, but it advances anyway. Okay. He's unconscious. The little rat didn't make it into his hole. The key... If he's got the key, he must know where the door is. Just 
carries him like that. Only pests like him know how to get out of these woods. Of course, he won't willingly tell me anything. But this, however... ...doesn't really matter. That's a really awkwardly phrased sentence and I only just understood what it's probably getting at. It's probably saying that it doesn't matter that he won't tell me willingly. But I always understood that this to be associated with the needle, so it was like, alright, the needle, it doesn't really matter. And that was very confusing. Alright, so this looks familiar. Kind of, minus the... I thought these were potatoes. Apparently, they're candles? Maybe he just lights candles in his potatoes, that's possible. I'm hurt. I could use these rags to craft some bandages and heal myself. Okay, so bandages are a thing I can craft at will. That's cool. Really hurt. Let's use the bandages. Trap door. Examine. An entry to a small cellar, probably for storing food. Locked. I could open the lock pick. So we have two of these, which is just enough to make a lock pick. Let's make the lock pick. Can I use the lock pick on? Hold on. I don't want to waste it. This barricade is too strong to dismantle. That's great that he says that now. Oh, that's so good. And I've healed as much as it's going to. Flashlight? Cool. Let's put that one here. Shovel. Slow long range weapon. Equip that. It's barricaded. Mm, that was miserable. Cool. No longer usable, I need to repair it. Oh, cool. Vanished. That's normal. I'm sure there's nothing up that. These are bloody footprints. What? Locked, I got the lock pick. Who's there? Please let me out. I need a lockpick, I guess. Or I could barricade it. I totally love that he now says, uh, oh yeah, the cages. So, okay, this is the doctor's house. That hasn't changed. There's a door. There's a room here that I'm not allowed to get into, and that's weird. Here's the magic circle, except this time there's a radio. An old radio. tried to unbarricade something, that it's like, oh, I didn't make this barricade, I have no idea how to tear it down. It's like, really? You don't? The figure on the bed is wearing a worn coat and a weathered hat. His eyes are fixed on the hilt of the scalpel stuck on his forehead. Warm wax drips from the wound onto the metal surface. I don't recognize his face, but I know who he is. Wax! Looks, yeah, so that is totally this guy. That is us. Cool. Generator. Generator is turned off, yet I can hear a faint metallic sound of an engine. Turn on. As I reach my hand towards the power switch, I suddenly hear a voice. Gasoline. Gasoline. Suddenly the voice turns into a rumble. What are you looking at? Get me some booze! So, alright, apparently gasoline in this universe is like booze for sentient generators. Search the crate. Dog tag. Plank with nails! I like that. Let's keep that there. Keep yourself safe. Crude weapon. Don't expect it to last long. And fuel, which is just what we need. We 
fill the generator, equip the gasoline tank, hover your cursor over the generator, hold right mouse button to aim, and hold left mouse button to pour. I wonder if we can hold onto the gas, actually. Past the... well, you'll see if this is your first Darkwood. And, yep, our body is gone from the metal bed. Everything's really freaking bright. Too strong to dismount. Apparently he makes the weakest... It, that is weird now though, in the sense that before he was like, oh, I can't... I don't understand. I, I picked up a lockpick? No, wrong button. Picked up a lockpick, yeah. Before he would say, I don't understand, because it's someone else's. Now he's like, oh, it's too strong. So the only barricades we can have to dismantle are the ones that he builds, which implies that he builds really weak barricades. Uh, Press R. Do not have anything. Um, actually, I'm gonna fix this. Sorry to mess up the tension. Reload middle mouse button, because I just mashed that when it prompted for reload. And so, I don't want to be doing that during a crucial moment. Ow! Alright, still have a dodge. I don't think I've ever died. Alright, so we have the special attack too. Ow. Can you kill us? Very slowly. Alright. Nope. Oh god, he can open doors. Of course he can. That makes sense. He's human after all. Ah! Ah! How do you know where I am? It's kind of the only option. Got nothing on you. He he he. How do you want to get out now? You think you can manage all by yourself? Can you hear it? I hear chopper noises. Oh god. Ah! Ow! Ow! Holy! Ah! That was just as stressful as ever. But also, that now. They just kill you with chompers. Location found hideout one. Night protection. You're in the hideout under the influence of the protective gas. It will help you survive the night. All right. Well, that was the intro. Similar as always, although I think, I don't remember it always being the case that you died. It was like a time thing. If you sat around long enough, it would just pass on, but it seemed like it very quickly devolved into Black Chomper swarming me and killing me, which is neat. I'm okay with that. Oh, the oven it now has a... this is cool. I like this. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a weird, although well-known to me, scent. It's the smell of the protective gas, which provides me some safety during the night. The fumes are distributed all over the house with long pipes. If I stay inside my hideout during the night, I have a chance of surviving. Examine the oven. When I came here a few days ago, the oven was pretty much ready to operate. I just needed to light it up and make it work. It must have been for one of our hideouts. The locals don't need to inhale this shit. Does this prompt the same thing yet? Look at the weird bottle. Which one? There is an instruction manual on the bottle. The probability of death when staying outside of the vicinity of the protective gas after nightfall is 99 out of 100. It is advised to uniformly spread the gas inside closed environments inside the pot. A pot. A small, empty pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. Although I catch myself thinking about those mushrooms. The red, pulsating ones. They look so juicy and delicious. Maybe I will find a use for the pot after all. Cook. Ah, good old Mr. Needle. 
our friend the needle. It is our friend. It really is. Some red juicy mushrooms, just like those. Uh, harvest the large mushrooms. So I can cook mushrooms. Extract eight essence. Yeah! 20% of the way there already. Moving up in the world. What could go wrong? Good. Okay with that. Nah. This is always alarming the first time you learn about it, but at this point I've just gotten used to the fact that, yep. There's this giant gap, and all I can do... Oh! Oh, there isn't a tree there anymore! There used to be a tree right here which foiled your attempt at just actually covering this hole. You had to get it like 90% of the way there, and I just sort of hope that nothing bumped into it. Yesterday I barricaded one of the windows. If I want to stay here for some time, I should do the same with the other windows. So that's good. That's like a tutorial of like, hey, barricading windows is a thing. And, uh, you should do more of it. Workbench. Right, hotbar and inventory upgrade are now... Well, I need to upgrade, apparently, to craft them. Right. But apparently now those will just, uh... It used to be you'd craft them, and then you put them in your inventory, and then you consume them immediately, because that was pretty much the only thing you could do with them. But now, presumably, according to the notes, you'll just, uh... You'll just craft them and it'll immediately apply the upgrade, so you don't have to go through that unnecessary step of putting in your inventory, consuming it, yada yada. Yeah! 40%! Alright. Oh! Bear trap! Bear trap under the window is still open. Looks like this night was uneventful. I'm gonna leave that there, because it seems like a useful thing to leave that mushroom book. The title reads, The Use of Mushrooms in the Household. I wonder if... I, I'll trust you, I guess. I don't know that... I can't read it myself. I'll go ahead, and this is a crafting item, so I just want to do that. I want to keep nails on me, because I might need to barricade stuff. And this is useful, because it lets me make emergency things. Table saw. I have 40 fuel. I need to place wood logs in the container first. So I can place wood logs in the container and burn fuel to convert wood logs to planks. Okay, that's all very clear, as long as the player finds it. There's this locked container that. I've never been able to open that in any of the previous outfits. I never just tried to sit here exhaustively and touch all the possibilities, but. The generator is almost out of gasoline, but there is still enough to last another night. I bet I could find a gasoline can in the underground entrance. Okay. There is enough for night. Nope, let's not burn through that right now. Torch! And some other items. I'm tempted to put the torch somewhere where I might use it. Underground entrance, huh? And poisonous mushrooms. Okay. You do not want to walk over the poisonous mushrooms. That is generally a bad idea. Look, wood logs, nails, oh a dog. No. No, you stay stay there and I'll be over here. And we can get along. Hi Moose. That's even worse than the dog. Those are really scary. But I'm glad it's found its calling in life. Looks like it's probably going to stay there forever, which is, I'm fine with that. Totally fine with that. Should probably submit a bug about it. To access the map, press M. Oh, this is different. At least for me. Us usually, all the previous times that we've been in this biome setup here, my, uh, my hazard has always been in, like, here, and the forest is always here, and the old woods is always here. That's been kind of a constant. It's never been set up this way before, so I'm, a, I'm looking forward to the variety. It's exciting. It's one of the nice bits of uh, 
procedurally generated games. It can give me a fresh experience every time. So I'm going to go ahead and try to explore the alcove around my house, because I don't know how far I need to go. Underground entrance, excellent. So that's kind of where we want to go. That's our one thing we can do for now. First, I want to gather some resources, because I have no weapons. Have no weapons. It's probably a death sentence. Did I hear something? Here I am, walking. Oh! Oh! No! I'm sorry! Don't worry about it. Uh... Damn it! No, I can't do anything about you. I can use the torch. I don't want to use the torch. It's important. Ah, this could end badly. Nope. Yeah, bad dog. Forget about me. Stay over there. Oh god, no. Okay, so there are, there are only two dogs. Which makes this not so dangerous, but fairly dangerous nonetheless. kind of want to loop this. I'm gonna try successfully looting it without having to fend off the dogs. The stealth approach, as it were. Oh, hi! They used to chase you as soon as you ran, which I thought was, eh, take it or leave it. Alright. Cool. Oh god. Why? Why? Why is it? Yeah, leave me alone. We can be friends. I just want the stuff near your territory that you can't use anyway. Cool. Like that. This is nothing. Nothing here. <sighs> it's not gonna be a very exciting episode, I'm sorry. It's probably probably just gonna farm around my house for a bit, and it's gonna get too dark. And then I'm gonna go through the night. Then I'll probably stop for tonight because it's getting pretty late, and um, the video is getting pretty long. Actually, there's a risk I might not be able to actually upload it. Oh, hi, bird. And it went away. So it's a dead dog or goat or something like that. That's my house. This is a road. It goes where? trap. What? What? Oh, okay. Come at me. Yeah. We got just the thing. Yeah! Sweet! And we get- oh, we only get one scrap metal instead of two. That's okay. And we get some dog meat out of it. That was effective! That is- that makes me feel s- what was that? What was that noise? It sounded like something just breathing out. I even- Oh, hello, a campfire. A rabbit that didn't run away as quickly as they usually do. Is there any purpose to this? Can I just... Okay, at least I can't burn myself. That's good. I like that. <laughs> That's always lame. Like, in Witcher 3, you Geralt can just walk in the fire and then it's like, oh, fire damage for a couple seconds. It's kind of cool, but also kind of terrible. Broken tree. What's corpse? What's he? What's he look like? I don't know. Someone got killed, and I am just going to take, because that is what I do. Take. And what else? What else? What else? What else? Anything else near the the tree? Anything new? The corpse has always been the thing near the broken tree. I don't know if it's changed in a long time, but it looks like it hasn't changed yet. Could be interesting. Oh no. 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 Go away. Leave me alone. Ow. Why do you hurt so much? Good news with dogs and their ilk. So 
I should be able to just... Yeah, that's right. I'm actually kind of low on health. Bandage? Um, alright then. I'm just gonna... Oh, I don't need to drop that. I can totally just deposit this. We should probably make some planks. Yep. Deposit more. Um, meat. Alright. So, what to do first? It looks like if we barricade this up, we'll have a... Uh, well, aside from that hole that's kind of papered over a closed off environment. So let's prioritize that, because that's always a good thing. Now we can dismantle it, because that one's not too strong. Because he built it, because he makes really weak barricades. That's how it works. Uh -huh. And as for fuel, I'm tempted to keep that around for the generator. And I'm gonna go ahead and waste all of this on the, uh, oh well. I should probably finish exploring, because we're gonna come back once it starts getting dark, which it probably already is. See, we found, we did, that, this is progress, we raided that thing, we got something out of the broken tree, I don't think there's anything else over here. And we found some ways of the road. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna waste that entire thing on here because we've got a whole other gas can, which is great. Now, in terms of priorities, I want to expand the amount of safe area as quickly as possible. I'm gonna need more fuel or to find more planks, which I think we actually will. If I want to make this safe, which I kind of do, just because it's, it's kind of a nice area to have available. So I'm just going to squander squander these now. I didn't make any weapons. Shit. That's really bad planning on my part. I should have made at least one plank with nails. Just something, right? But I didn't, and now I'm going to have to suffer for it, most likely. Kind of want this roughly there. Is there anything in here? No, I've already searched it. There isn't anything. Just so that it sheds light near where I am. And since this is our safe environment, I want light emitting from about there or so. <laughs> Alright. It's getting dark. Go ahead and... What? What is this? Why is that happening? Why is it stuck? Alright, it's getting dark. There's also no more well, which is an interesting change, actually. Because it means, uh... Normally it would hit about 7.30 or 8.40, they always change the time. I think it's time. It's getting dark. They would change the time, and you would have to go and get get a go to the well to drink so that you don't die of some nondescript sickness during the night. And now, uh, now there's there's the um, oh right, I didn't I didn't do that, so I'm just gonna very quickly deposit all the crafting stuff that I care to. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you have to go drink from it to prevent you from dying, so you'd know when it was coming nighttime at least, which was the nice bit about it. Which, you know, now it's just kind of like, I guess it's getting dark. Time to go home. Which has its up and ups and downs. But the, uh... Hmm. Here. The. It was always kind of awkward, because you'd have to, like, run off. You know, you'd, you'd always be like, alright, it's getting dark, I'm gonna hang out near the window. Then, alright, I need a drink, run out, drink, because you couldn't drink beforehand. And then run back and close, run, run to the generator, go. You just cycle that in. It wasn't, it wasn't very fun, it wasn't very interesting. 
Um, but it was a routine and it did let you know exactly when it was getting dark. Don't I hear noises? Oh! There's, there's something here. What's that? Mushrooms! A hot mushroom it grows during the night. I'm okay with this. I'm totally okay with this. This area is now semi-safe because of the, because of that. But I still don't want to risk it. I just want to maximize the light. It seems like the lights are a little bit... Maybe it's just me, but the lights seem dimmer than I remember them being. I think they used to cast a lot stronger light. Terrifying. What the hell was that? Who did what? That's terrifying. Something just opened the door, but I can't see it. Thought I heard something else. Fuck you, fog. Oh man. I don't trust this room because there's just a straight up open window. No bear trap or anything. I'm not gonna need it, that battery anytime soon. I like the odd mushroom. That's exciting. That's an exciting thing to have. I'm gonna go ahead and squander those in favor of a lockpick because I almost always need a lockpick. Um, let's get and immediately use one actually. Well, I'm gonna wait until morning in case it heals me in the morning. Um, I guess they haven't replaced that mechanic with anything. Oh, yep, rots over time. Just like they all do. I like this new icon. Just the shape. It's cool. Yeah, I realize it's not an icon, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Mm. I heard some noises over here, but I don't really want to go check it out. Well, so far pretty uneventful, except for whatever the hell that was. <sighs> I did get some mushrooms out of it, though. That's good. That's always good. Ah! Daytime! Hello, wolf man. Alright, I'm gonna go turn off the generator first, just cause... Just cause force of habit, mostly. Generator should not be left to run, cause I don't trust it to not consume. Alright, I need to add fuel to it as well. It consumes. I don't know how much. Let's find out. I think it's two and a half or so. But I am tempted to just. Like, I'm dedicating this to that use. Oh, that's good. That's that's really nice that they don't let me squander it. Like, it's full! You can't use it anymore. It's really nice. You can go ahead and squander it here anyway, though. Eh. Yeah. So one of the weird things that I don't quite understand is that we, we had that whole prologue thing, and then we woke up here, and then it seemed like he was talking in the past tense, like he'd been here a while. Right? Like, he's like, oh yeah, that happened a few days ago, or whatever, and it's like, so are you referring to, you know, the, the same thing that I think you're referring to, or are you... It's kind of mysterious. It, it seems like maybe we have a situation in which he's, um, this is like a memory that he's living through. 
some kind of illusion? We'll find out, I guess. It's making the best noises. Gift. Odd mushrooms? Cool. Mushroom note. It's always good to start your day with a handful of fresh mushrooms. As a reward for surviving the night, we have gathered some tasty ones for you. Bon appetit. P.S. Remember, mushrooms taste best when cooked. Sure. Of course they do. Wolfman talk. And this is another interesting thing that I didn't understand how it would work out. Wolfman is here on our first survival night. Normally he would be here when we wake up in the woods. So, let's see if anything else has changed. I could feel your stench from afar. You should be thankful I don't have an appetite for carcasses, eh? He hides his face under a hood. He smells of wet ground and fur? I came after your reek to inform you about something. But looking at your face, someone has already done just that. These woods are full of little trinkets. Treasures. If you find anything valuable, I'll gladly have a look at it. Maybe even give you something in exchange. My hideout is in the southeastern part of the meadow. Remember this, because the likes of you always crawl back to me. <laughs> that was a terrible laugh, but whatever. Ah, I could get meat, but it doesn't actually get me much of anything. Gasoline looks like it's a lot cheaper than I remember it being. The red egg, that's been in there. I haven't seen him selling it. It's been a thing since the very first alpha, excuse me. I do not want to give him my bandages. I should deal with the mushrooms soon, but he's not interested in them. That's interesting. I'll take lockpicks for a decent amount, though. I don't really want anything you've got. Show him the dog tag. Oh! <laughs> what a beautiful thing this is, meat. I know to whom it belonged to. Wolf giggles as he looks at the dog tag. I'd like to, you'd like to know too, eh? It's funny that someone who would like to speak so much won't ever say a word. I'll give you a piece of advice, almost for free. If you want to know more about where this thing came from, find the woman who stinks of chickens, eh? You'll find her in a cottage in the southeastern part of the forest. Wolf takes a step in my direction. If you find anything worthwhile from her, do remember that I like information. It would be wise to live in good terms with me, comrade meat. Comrade, huh? Trade. No, we already did that. There's nothing we really want out of it. If you want to live a little bit longer, meat, you'd be wise not to venture too far from here. Only a few of those who went to the dense woods have made it back alive, and none of them were able to tell their happy stories. <laughs> I'd avoid getting into trouble if I were you. At least until you get some better weapons. Taking a stroll through the woods after dusk means certain death, meat. Better find some walls to hide behind before nightfall and pay for the morning light. To access the journal, press J. I have no skills. Or keys or quest items. These are... I think these didn't work before. So that's cool. I like to see them working. I guess they kind of work, it seems like. They don't switch like they're supposed to. Skills, journal. But there's really no way to get between them. Black walls made from trees and roots. I don't know what to look for here. It's a bloody trap. I feel the walls getting closer and closer. This is no place for a human being. Entry 2. I can barely hold my pencil. I don't know what is happening to me. My bod to my body. I knew they would eventually catch us. They're mad. Completely insane. I lost the key to the exit of this sector. I need to get it if I am to get back out of this place. Maybe I lost it during my escape, or maybe that guy took it. I don't even remember his name or what he looked like. I'm not even sure I actually met him. Maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on me, but there was a dog tag in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure I took it from that man's house. If the dog tag is real, the house must be two? Day two. Wolf. So, it does look like it's sorted by day now, because we have just Wolf, which is the heading for the next one. Which, probably, hopefully they'll fix that layout. My mind must be going. I've been visited by someone with the head of a wolf. I can't explain this in any way. He didn't come here to hurt me, only wel to welcome me in the woods and show me the way to his hideout, which should be in the southeastern part of the meadow. It looks like he knows much about this place, and his knowledge might come in handy. Southeastern. Okay, that's good to know. Dog tag. Wolf knows the person to whom the dog tag belonged to, but didn't want to tell me. Instead, he told me to find the lady who stinks of chickens. 
I will find her in her cottage in the northeastern part of the forest. So this is pretty standard stuff. The wolf has his hideout somewhere in, in the meadow, and the chicken lady knows about the dog tag somewhere in the forest. So that's all good old good old. And this is just the usual. The list of items called the notes. I'm interested to see when these get fleshed out. I was about to say, like, where'd the wolfman go? Oh, he's right here. Alright. Let's cook some shrooms. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to that. See further. That's usually what I go for. But these are new. Moth. Once a day, you can restore health when standing next to turned on lamps. That sounds as like it's useful especially during the night like if you screw up and get attacked or get too low health you could restore some health with a lamp because I don't know when else you'd have turned on lamps frankly navigator once a day you can drop a part of your body which will serve as a map marker can also be used as bait that is really really morbid but it sounds vaguely useful but not necessarily to me because I don't really have a hard time navigating around the map. I get kind of lost sometimes, but I kind of enjoy the tension that brings where I have to keep on my toes and navigate by landmark and stuff. So, but I, this isn't a problem for me that I know of. Mushroom healing. Eating mushroom restores your health. It's always restored your health a little bit, so I wonder if this makes them actually restore good amounts of health as opposed to just meager and worthless amounts of health. Cool! We've upgraded. I'm gonna deposit those mushrooms, because I don't know what else we would do with them. Ha! <sighs> Alright. Are we prepared for the next day? Oh yeah, we healed. Good to know. So we heal in the mornings now, which is also nice. I kind of understand why before with the well, you drink from the well and heal. Which had it, which meant that you know you had kind of an incentive to not screw up during the night, uh, or not take any damage because any damage you took during the night you'd have to either heal in the morning or just sort of live with for a while, which sucks hard. I'm gonna take these two so I can make bandages in case I need them. Scrap metal. But now you heal in the morning, which means you can probably be a little bit do a little bit worse at night. But it also means that the nights can be a little bit more exciting. Right, I, I don't have to worry about having a whole day of just slogging through because I decided to be a little bit more adventurous during the evening. Um, I'm gonna hold on to the meat just in case. Maybe I can use it to distract one of the wolves. Since I don't have any weapons. Alright, well, I'm gonna head out. Actually, I think I'll just stop here, because I think we have a plan, right? We, we just want to go to the underground entrance and get whatever it is that we need to get down there. We have a torch. So that'll all work out pretty well, I think. And I will, uh, I will go ahead and pick it up there next time. Thank you for watching, everyone. This has been Darkwood Alpha 6.